comes the mail train. Ooh, there must be a lot of mail. Hi, welcome to the Retirement Railroad. I'm Steve, and, and uh, I went a little crazy on eBay this week, and I've got a number of, uh, of uh, packages coming in. Uh, this week, earlier this week, I had, uh, and I covered covered uh, them already, but I had a couple stock cars for my stockyard. Okay, well. There was an AccuRail stock car on eBay uh, for like six dollars. Okay. So couldn't resist. And I went ahead and got an AccuRail stock car. Uh, and it's already assembled. So it's used, but that's fine. And it's got it's already got the uh, KD couplers on it. And I do have to add some weights, and whoever had it before had glued the shell to the attachment. So, what I'm going to have to do, and I've got some uh, lead, I'm going to have to take some slices of lead and put them between these two uh, beams on the lower side. Alright, so I need to get about an ounce and a half more into that car. Anyway. Then, what also arrived today was a new old stock inbox uh, a Santa Fe coach. And again, six or seven dollars. I mean, brand new, 30, 40 years ago, they were five dollars and fifty cents. Okay? So, uh, and I've got to put it together, which is no big deal. It's not like I haven't done that before. And uh, so I needed that to uh, finish off my uh, Santa Fe Super Cheap. And now I'm done, as far as I know, with stock cars. I got three stock cars. Uh, two can be at the uh, uh, at the stock yards, and one will be in the farm scene over here uh, when I get around to building that. So also coming, and I'll cover that in another section of the same video because this will be a multi-day video as things arrive. Uh, I've got a. Uh, Proto 2K, uh, E89, CB and Q uh, coming. Uh, I've got, oh, I've got, oh, I got 12 pack of Smails coming. Yay. Because uh, um, I need to put a crossover right here. And I need switch machines for it. And then I need a switch machine for the siding that goes back to the farm scene. And a switch machine here that comes over to a diesel uh, servicing facility. And once I have those in, then I can put the turntable in and, and finish off uh, Aurora. So, uh, before I move on to western suburbs over there. Uh, probably late this year, early next year. But anyway, I needed those. Uh, oh, and I got the two switches uh, for here coming in. And, but wait, there's more. Uh, uh, Burlington CB and Q RPO. I got two streamlined bash, uh, baggage cars for it, uh, but I didn't have an RPO. Uh, I really don't need one of the, the uh, streamlined baggage cars. Uh, so if there's somebody out there looking for a uh, CB and Q uh, Athern uh, Burlington CB and Q baggage car, uh, let me know. All right, we might be able to arrange something. Anyway, stay tuned for uh, the next uh, delivery. All right, welcome back to the Retirement Railroad Mail Call Part Two. Okay, uh, as I mentioned previously, I kind of went nuts on eBay in the last week, and. Uh, a number of different things uh, inbound to me and uh, today was the second round of packages um, and 
got here. I've already begun to open it up. And anybody who knows me knows my favorite locomotive the, are the E units. Okay. And uh, if you've watched all of my uh, tips of the day or videos, you would have seen uh, back over here a video of uh, my favorite, an E9 Proto 2000, taking a nosedive off the table. Uh, and I reworked it a little bit. It, it runs, but it's not the best. So, I got this one. Another E89 Proto 2000. It is used, said to be in good shape. And one of the things I look for is the wheel bearing covers uh, on these Proto 2000. Uh, if they've been well cared for, those wheel bearing covers will still be there on a used one. And according to the pictures, this one, they were still there. And I, of course, I got a a good uh, good buy on it. You'll see them on eBay for upwards of $100 for a DC. And this one's DC. Uh, uh, but it was uh, $50, I think. So, anyway, it was a good buy. And uh, it's bubble wrapped real well. The bearing covers are intact. Oh, there's one right there, as a matter of fact. Just can't, oh, another one. So two on the back side because of the bubble plastic have come off. And there's one and there's the other. So those are easily put back on. They're still there, so it still shows uh, uh, being well uh, maintained. And the boards are 99.48. Okay, I'm going to put her on the uh, DC test track. Yes. And it's a smooth one. Good deal. All right. So, it's a runner. And it works good. So, I have a decoder all ready to go with the uh, modification plate that I put in my uh, uh, P2KE units. Uh, all ready to go. Uh, I've got extra wiring harnesses here and speakers all ready to go so all right time to put it uh, together and put it on the uh, layout stay tuned we'll have more to this mail call as, as we go <laughs> thanks okay welcome back uh, ready for another installment of uh, the mail call uh, postman just arrived and I got some packages so let's see what we got first of all from Colorado Springs And 
this one was uh, probably the best buy I've got in a long time on eBay. Uh, providing it is what they say it is, the shape that it's supposed to be in, etc. It's used and it's not in pristine condition. Feels like it's weighted. Oh, it's in much better condition than what I was expecting. Not perfect. It's missing the, la the ladders there. But it's a Burlington caboose. And I'll have to, with horn hook couplers that are in upside down. I don't know why. Maybe I'm missing something. But why? It's got metal wheels. Uh, sprung trucks. I don't like metal sprung trucks. I'm not a fan of those, so I may have to replace the trucks. Two dollars. Ding, ding, ding. Alright. That's item number one. Let's take a look at this one. This one's from Pennsylvania. This one is from CMR Products. CMR sponsors uh, Humanity Junction, Human City Junction, and uh, uh, they're also the ones that uh, uh, supplied the uh, two soundboards I have, one for cattle, one for hogs. Alexa, cows on. Okay. There we go. Okay, I needed uh, some lighting. So, this is a red blinking light kit. All right. It comes with wire, shrink tubing, the whole nine yards. And I got, I think, three of these. I did for water towers and such, just to have them. What I really wanted was a uh, arc welder. Okay? So it's got, uh, and, and I ordered three of those. And it comes with two white flame LEDs and uh, uh, a blue LED, okay? Resistors, shrink uh, tubing, and wire. So, all right. Now, what do you think we have here? Earlier in the mail call, on a previous segment, you saw that I got a Proto 2K uh, CB&Q E89, okay? And I made an offer on this, this one. And I didn't expect to get it. Alright. But this is an E7. Alright. A Proto 2K E7. And it looks to be new in box. And I think it's DC C ready. Because its light board is different than other light boards that I've had. Huh. Cool. So, I'll put a decoder in this one. 
What do you think's in here? I'll give you a hint. Both these boxes came from the same place. And again, I made an offer that I didn't expect to be uh, taken. Guess what? Another E in it, an E89. Alright. Again, new in the box. Outstanding. Okay. But wait, there's more. This was a group purchase. He had a two uh two of them offered up under one uh, auction. And again, another uh, E8, E9 new in the box. Uh, I love these Proto 2K E89s. They run smooth, they pull well, they're easy to put decoders into. Uh, this one is uh, uh, number 9940, which is good. And the other one is 9939, which is good. I don't have, these won't be duplicated. I already have a duplicate of 9948. Okay. And uh, these are, we're selling for $85 a piece. I got them for $40 a piece. Uh, likewise, for uh, this one here, uh, Sell for $64.85. Got it for $45 or $46. Okay. And this makes it where I have four E89s and two E7s. Okay. But these won't be hitting the layout anytime soon. Because I gotta get the coders for them. Alrighty, stay tuned. There's going to be at least one more segment to mail call. Alright, here's another segment of this week's unboxing. Got two packages today. Any guesses? I'll give you a hint. Today's are not E units. <laughs> but I do have a few of those inbound. A few more, I should say. Oh no, packing peanuts. I have two Pico Electrofrogs. Oh, here's a kicker. I've never seen them in boxes before. Code 100. Left hand, code 100, yep. Okay. These be them. Now it is an electric frog. No problem. I'm in the process of putting a crossover right here. So that'll be another project. 
Guess is what's in the bigger box? Give me a hint. They go with these. And then some. Alrighty then. Smail is. Smail is a tortoise switch machine with a DCC decoder built in. And this is a 12 pack. Yeah. Alright. And I need two of those for these switches. And two for the switches leading into the uh, engine servicing area over here, uh, the Aurora engine servicing area, the roundhouse, and the switch leading off to the farm scene. So, I now have all the switches I need and the switch machines I need. So, it's time to probably move away from Fairview and Cicero and swing around to this area. Uh, still have a lot of work to do over here. Detail work, some fascia on here, uh, some rock work over there, more trees over here, people, lumber for the lumber yard. You know, got all that stuff to do yet. And that's fine. You know, Rome wasn't built in a day. Neither was the, neither was the retirement railroad. All right? pack of switch machines. These run typically about $40 a piece. Uh, this is a 12 pack and I got it from Trains with a Z on the end uh, out of Buford, Georgia. And they specialize in uh, overstocks and uh, estates, things like that. Uh, and I've got Toll packs for as cheap as three hundred dollars. Uh, in the past, this toll pack was three hundred and fifteen. Okay, uh, and consider there's twelve in here. It's four hundred eighty dollars less plus postage. So, good buy. <clears throat> People ask me why I go with smales. That's why. All right. <clears throat> plus, I just like the effect of DCC, and I don't have to do a whole lot more wiring. Uh, and uh, these handle, uh, everything's local. I don't have to wire to another board somewhere and into a bus, it's just straight to the bus. So, uh, simplifies things for a person that needs things simplified <laughs> for. All right, that's this segment of Mail Call. <laughs> There's more, <laughs> stay tuned. Okay, time for the next segment of uh, this mail call. And you know, with all the stuff I've had inbound, uh, I figure I better get something to help handle. So, let's see what we got today. Uh, 
bathroom, go figure. Bathroom blue box, RPO! I need it to help handle all the uh, mail, all the packages coming in. <laughs> all right. Stay tuned, we're not done with mail call. All right, just to wrap up this uh, mail call, even though I still have some other stuff inbound, <laughs> we'll wrap this one up. Um, needless to say, uh, five heat units, two weeks, <laughs> week and a half, uh, one DCC ready. Definitely more than what I bought. Along with all the other things I got on my phone. I'm Steve, and I want to thank you for joining me for this mail call on the Retirement Railroad. Y'all take care. Bye now.